Hi, welcome to my first video tutorial. And right now we're going to be making a spotlight effect. Just give me a second to clear away some of this stuff that doesn't belong here yet. And then, okay. I don't know why I'm doing this because it needs to be black anyway. Alright, start by filling your canvas with black and then take out your elliptical marquee tool. Select a oval, like that, you see that oval, and on a new layer, fill that with white, and deselect. Then you need to go up to your filters, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, I would just, I don't know, depending on how thick it is, 8 to 20, I'm going to do a little bit. I'm gonna do 13, so that'll do alright. Okay, and we got that set up. Alright, now you can either just leave it as it is, you can turn down the opacity. I find it looks better when you turn it down, but it looks brighter if you leave it up, so it's your choice. Alright, take out your uh, polygonal select thing, lasso tool thing. Ding, 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 ding. All right, and uh, select a nice lens-ish kind of. You see how it goes like out and down and stuff like that. And then fill this with white. Make sure you're doing this on a new layer, or else you're going to severely mess yourself up. All right, uh, go and Gaussian blur this one again, but this time make sure it's more than the last one, like way more blurry then turn down the opacity quite a bit you want it to be a lower opacity than this one the one on the bottom which I'm gonna turn up now because it didn't look enough of you know alright and then you uh, transform this so that you get the right shape that you want get it to line up nicely you know maybe pinch it up a little bit more at the top you know, just line it up the way you need it. And then you got that there. Alright, for uh, for the thing we're going to make the shadow with, we're just going to create a new layer. It's just going to be a nice, easy to make sphere ball thing for you people who don't really care. Alright, hold down shift to make it not, uh, you know, make it perfectly circular. And then from there, fill that with black or white it doesn't really matter all right then up here in the layer we've got your new layer this is going to be layer three right click on it and select blending options and that'll bring up the layer style dialog all right so you need to check uh inner shadow gradient overlay uh the gradient you can leave the default the inner shadow you might want to turn the size up a little bit. Uh, my mouse is diggy. There we go, that's good right there. And then bevel and emboss and just turn up the size until it looks nice and circular ish. And uh, also in the bevel and emboss, go to highlight mode and set it to linear dodge. This looks so much better in my opinion. And turn up the opacity on the other one, the one below the shadow thing. Alright, yeah. Hit OK, which you can't see because it was off screen, but anyway, hit OK. And then you have your sphere. Doesn't look too good yet, but we'll blend it in eventually. Alright, start by going back to either. You can, you can do this two ways. I'm going to show you the easier way. So, to create a new layer called layer 4, which is going to be above your sphere layer and basically just do the exact same thing we did at the beginning of the tutorial this time do it with black so basically on a new layer deselect and you go some oh, that's I forgot to turn down the blur area we want it to be a nice distinct shadow because we're gonna put something on top of this to blend the uh, ball in better so it looks like it's in light not on top of the light all right, and then new layer again, polygonal lasso. You know, 
you know the drill. And uh, once you have this filled with black, move it to the below the sphere so I mean it looks better. Then you can go ahead and blur it. Oh, awesome there. Oh, crap. <laughs> I feel so smart. Alright, there you go. And do the whole transform me thingy to make sure that it stays where you want it. Oh, and just a tip. When you're doing transform, which is control T, for those of you who don't know, hold it down the control button when you're moving these and you can move each one of the corners individually. And it's much, much easier on your just yourself. Alright. And turn down the opacity of this layer. I don't know. Lower. Just you want it to be visible because this next step is fun. Sorry, I'm tired. Okay, go back to layer 2, which is the beam, and duplicate this layer, which is control J, or you can right click it and select duplicate. You see how it made it lighter? Alright, now over here, click and drag this layer to the very top, like that. See that? And then you can just turn down the opacity a little bit more. Or up. Turn up this opacity. Basically, the higher the opacity of the one on top, the farther back the ball looks, the sphere, whatever you want to call it, stop correcting me. Jay, that's me. I'm talking to myself, you guys. You guys gotta help me, I'm like going crazy. Alright, then, uh, uh, lower the opacity of the one in the back, and then there you go, it's nice and blended. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna show you here. You can do a few more things with it, but I'm not going to, because I'm far too lazy. And, uh, if you think it looks still a little bit too sharp over here, you can just take out the blur tool and just click once or twice or three times or <laughs> however many until you like it. Also, you can go back to the blending options and experiment, try a glow, adding a glow to it. If you're gonna do that though, turn up the size a lot. Actually, no, don't do that, that looks ugly. Ugly, fugly. And that concludes this tutorial. Peace out, guys.